I came into this film knowing very little about the Chinese American community, very little. I still don't know much, honestly. I've just made one film. But what I was struck by was the family dynamic. I came into this film having a kind of stereotypical view of the Chinese family. You know, I thought that the father is the patriarch and everyone is quiet and defers to him on everything and no one would dare disagree with him if he says this is the way it should be. And what I found as we filmed with the songs is that nothing could be further from the truth. That he had, he and his, and his wife had raised four very independent, smart, assertive daughters and they spoke up. But, and then Mrs. Sung, who is, you know, hilarious, it must be said. She, she kind of steals the movie and the scenes she's in, but she's also like painfully honest about what she worried about with this, with this case and with the bank and with the loss of face for her and her family. So they're just an extraordinary family. And yet through it all, through some of their disagreements and the stress and strain and some of the bickering that you see that goes on in the film, you never for a minute doubt their love for one another and their, and their commitment to one another. And it's been really great to uh, show this film at various public settings and have Asian uh, viewers come up, particularly Chinese American viewers come up and say, that's my family up there. I, I recognize that family and I feel like I haven't seen many films, in some cases they say I haven't seen a film, where I see myself and my family in that film and so that's been really heartening. The majority of the audience I would say has probably been white um, because that's the, that's, tends to be the majority of audiences that go to film festivals in this country. However, we've had a remarkable, uh, remarkably diverse audience uh, throughout the run of festivals. And there have been screenings at theaters that have been overwhelmingly Asian uh, in terms of the makeup. We had screenings in San Francisco. Um, we've had screenings here in New York. And so it's been really heartening to see uh, the way in which the Asian community when they discovered this film has turned out to want to see this story and be supportive of it. I, I, I think it's fair to say that I don't know that we would be nominated for an Academy Award with this film if not for the strong uh, influence and passion of Asian members of the film community and members of the Academy uh, as well who have just sort of taken this film to heart and, and, and really pushed to to help get it out there. Well, you know, I, I uh, you know, the way it works here with the announcement of the Oscars is, is that it's announced very early in the morning. Uh, and so where I was at when the announcements happened, it was around 6.30 in the morning that I found out that we had been nominated. And it was, it was really thrilling and exciting and heartening. And of course, my phone immediately began to blow up with texts from well-wishers and I was amazed at how many people had actually tuned in to watch this at that early hour. Um, but I think the most endearing um, reaction to all of this was um, Mrs. Sung. Uh, she's been a movie fan her entire life. She told me that she has watched the Oscars for like 60 years. That when she was a young girl, she used to cut out pictures of movie stars and put them in her scrapbook and put her name next to, you know, actresses that she, she admired. So she told, you know, she told me that getting this nomination for this film, she never in her wildest dreams would have imagined that she would have a reason 
to care about the Oscars or go to the Oscars and be in a film that was nominated for an Oscar. And that's what's happened. And, and of course, she's going to be there next week um, in, the, in the hall uh, for the Academy Awards. And I think that whether we win or lose, that's going to be an extremely exciting thing for her to just be there. You know, I think this is a one. Th this is a great story because the Sung family is such a courageous, lovely, endearing, loving family. Um, that's the heart of this story, and their determination and courage to fight back for themselves and for their bank and for their community makes this inspiring. And um, I also think that. You know, America now is led by a, a president who is very suspicious of immigrants coming to this country. And, you know, they also represent, I think, the best of what any person living in America would want as a family member uh, or for themselves. You know, they are what we like to call the American dream. They, they embody it, and they're immigrants. They're an immigrant family that came to America and built that. And I think that's too often forgotten by people in Congress who are so afraid of immigrants and fearful that somehow they're going to tear down our country when, in fact, they are a big part of what has built this country.